welcome back today i will go over how we can identify the individual network interfaces when the connections under windows control panel are relabeled most home labbers students and technology people like to rename our network connections on this windows server i have renamed most of my connections as i perform experiments in my home lab some of these network connections are virtual and those virtual ones are easier to identify however the other network connections such as these may be a little bit confusing i know these network connections says ethernet ethernet 2 ethernet 3 ethernet 4 however these are labels that i put it on and may not be associated with the port which this connection is going into like the physical port there are many ways you can solve this problem for example you can start unplugging each cable and see which connection goes down and identify which physical port goes with what the other easier way to do this is to simply go into your manage switch uh, interface if these connections are directly connected to that manage switch or somehow go through that manage switch and then you can identify which connection goes where but there is another way you can do this and that is by using command prompt and out of band management web gui in my situation this is an hp server with ilo3 and what i will show you is how i can use the mac address of each physical port with the information i can get from windows command prompt to identify which interface here goes with what the first thing we need to do is open your command prompt and here we're going to type our usual thing uh, the famous one we always use the ip conf config slash all and we're going to press enter it will list all your connections as expected and it tells you uh, what the connection name and where it, uh, the information associated with that so if i go to the top of this list i can see uh there are certain um interfaces with certain ip addresses associated with that and i know the this one for example have uh, this uh, you know a ip ip address uh that says interface uh, sorry that, that says the interface uh, name ethernet so that is associated with that and then this one it says ethernet 3 it has an ip address of 192.168.1 uh 172 and then if we if i keep going down uh you can see uh, the you know uh, the other adapters here as well so there are two one of them called the uh, ev ethernet pf sense wan which associated with 192.168.1.171 and then with this one uh the ethernet 3 is showing as uh, 192.168.1.172 so these are probably like the physical two connections that i have i have more, more than two connection i have four connections here but i don't know which one goes where right so now what i'm going to do to identify this uh, is to open up uh, my uh, ilo uh, application which is this so guy uh, the i have the the version number 3 because it's a older process uh, we we are older server and if you get an error message when you try to access this ilo web interfaces there's another video that i have posted on that you can go ahead and check it out and i'm going to log in with my administrator credentials and then i will navigate to the system information section and under nic so depending on your ilo or uh, i dark or whatever you out of band uh, uh, interface this may be located in a different area you just need to find where you can find the network card information uh, for your server on your out of band uh, interface so in here if you are using ilo3 it's under information system information nic information and here i have my physical ports and the mac address associated with it physical port mac address associated so i have four physical port and then i have dedicated ilo port as well 
So if I go back to let's say the Ethernet 3 and if you look at the MAC address here, this MAC address 9C8E ending 7644E is actually the port number 1. So this MAC address 192.16, sorry, this MAC address associated with this 192.168.1.172 is actually the port 1. So even though it's Ethernet 3, which is showing up here as number 50, and this, this one shows a number 51 as Ethernet, um, the Ethernet 3 is the one that is associated with the first port. So I'm going to relabel this. Uh, by going into rename, I'm going to change Ethernet 3 to maybe Ethernet, I'm going to relabel just Ethernet port 1. And then it's so a go ahead and uh, relabel that. And then I can go through this process until I relabel everything. For example, port number 2 associated with uh, one nine uh, sorry C nine uh, C and ending seventy six fifty so this is seventy six fifty so if you go down here and try to find the seventy six fifty it looks like this one the PF sense uh, Wang adapter thing and it has one nine that's Ethernet number two so I can go in here and try to find that adapter and it says uh, it looks like this guy and uh, I'm gonna relabel this. And let's go and then do this. So it says bang, and I'm gonna relabel this as Ethernet port two. Okay. Um, I know it says Hyper V virtual adapter here. So maybe now. I realized that it says, so obviously it says Hyper-V for virtual adapter. Maybe this same MAC address may be associated with one of the virtual adapters. So you can go down on this list and see which, if this MAC address shows up anywhere else in here, and then you can use that information to figure out where the you know uh, uh, where uh, where that port associated with so for example this one end up with 9c8e7650 if i go up and see if there is uh, such one uh, 9c8e7650 right here right so those are it looks like the same mac address so if you have the same mac address for example if, for one of them you need to make sure that you are not confusing with your virtual adapters that's another thing you need to be worried about when you have virtual adapters you need to make sure that you don't mix them up a small correction i want to point out this is actually not the physical port that i really label it's incorrect this is actually a virtual port number two and uh, what this five zero number is basically is the same as this one this guy up here See right here, it says uh, that has the 50 number, it says Ethernet. So that and this are the same. So this is the port 2. So this is Ethernet port 2. As opposed to this guy, this is the virtual Ethernet port 2. So be careful when you have so many uh, virtual ports. So that's something that I uh, completely missed during the just the uh, previous uh, bits of this video. So sorry about that. So you may have sa same Ethernet port, but you have virtual um, ports in there. So you need to be careful with that. You can see the Q logic is my hard, uh, you know, physical port, and then these are the local. So virtual ones, right? So you need to be careful with that. So this physical port is associated with this virtual port. So they will have the same, um, you know, MAC address. So be careful when you're, uh, you know, labeling your uh, network connections once you identify. Another thing I would like to add to this uh, video clip, as uh, I forgot to mention this, that sometimes that 
the information related to that port may not appear if it is a physical malfunction of the port the port is dead or you haven't connected that port to a network so when you run ip config slash all it may not always appear for example i already labeled my port one two three four now now it's properly labeled um like you know while uh, you know it, it it didn't get recorded on the video but i labeled them by identifying which one is what but because i didn't connect all four, four ports uh, i basically didn't uh, see uh, some of the network connections showing up on ip config slash all so if that's the case make sure that uh, you know you run um, you know the network cables and they are connected so it will appear uh, and you can do that using like the, also by identify which are disconnected by running the this command net uh, net sh command and it'll show you that what connects are disconnect which are disconnected and which are connected and another thing is if you run the ip config all and it's not showing up on this list it may be possible that if you when you go to your properties of your uh, network connection that you have disabled uh, accidentally or intentionally the ipv4 uh, protocol and ipv6 protocol especially ipv4 protocol for most home users if it is disabled it will not show up uh, on this list like for example in here if you look at here uh, right now uh, if i look at uh, let's look at the port 4 uh, label port 4 uh, so right here ethernet port 4 it has an ip address uh ethernet adapter port 4 and you know it's a pipa ip address but you know it has an ip address uh, like it is working um now um i can disable it like for example i can get rid of uh i this one and click ok and if you run the same command um you know the port 4 if you go up uh it may not uh, show up uh, on the on this list so if you go to port 4 so you have port 3 and if you look down here um, the port 4 may not show up or show up with nothing on it that because of you need to uh, enable um, you know you need to make sure that you do have the IPv4 enable otherwise it won't you know it won't show up on the IP config slash all so again this is an experimental video this is an experimental tutorial i'm learning as well uh, certainly it needs uh, you know bits that i forgot i'm relearning stuff that i have uh, used in the past so again if you have any questions or concerns regarding this video more than welcome to leave a comment below um, i hope this is helpful because this is how we troubleshoot at home labs this is how you go through the process and when you figure out oh something is wrong you come back and fix it you know, uh, and uh, you find a new way another way to figure this thing out you come back and do it you know this is how we do home labs so that's everything for today i just want to give you a, a op an example a overview of how you can use uh, out of band management such as the ilo such as uh, the ilo3 to do certain things and in this situation i basically I identifying uh, our my network card information my port information using my ILO3 application and uh, using also the MAC address associated with that. So that's everything for today. If you have any questions or concerns regarding anything I covered, please reach out to me by leaving a comment in this video or by contacting me directly. If you, if you like me this type of uh, content, please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.